Greetings. May the blessed bud be blazed. the Holy Land, the coming together of a great work, the city of Jerusalem, the one of light. What you see here is real light. The Pharaohs, the land of the nice pair of mids, in the midst, that is, of the city, the abernacle, the cabern, the temple, the church, the holy place of consciousness, wisdom, the slave or the slave, the strong one, the king, the bishop, the press in the middle, or the priestlyhood. The Salum Temple of Salam. Temple of Peace. Peace is restored in his land. The fruits of the spirit that he holds in his hand of the warship, as you see. The bond or the Bibler, the warship, the ship that comes to have us or to save us. Through this ship or worshiping or warshipping, we fight, we battle. We battle the demands. The demands are the demons that come into the world or into the city which is the body. The demands are the intake or the in-cake or the in-ache. The intake determines the outcome. The outcome is us, you, the body, the land. This land is our beginning. Our four fat hers, or forefathers they dwelled in the land of the wilderness. They bear the mark of the beast, which is the belly. Upon their faces is the shame of the eating or the heathen. This shame we bear today. We call it the old beast or the Buddha. This Buddha or God or orderly, out of order fashion is pure passions, desires, without measure. The intake is the sin take unto the holy city. We dwell here, my people. We must purge and leave this land. This land helps us not. It helps no one else but itself. Worshipping or the holy worship brings conflict and war within the body against the intakes. The intake cannot stand the holy worshipping. The worshipping turns them to waters, to waste, to the mucus. The holy communion 
and service with the Holy Spirit purges the intake or the demands that is within the body causing the eaten or the great face of huffering. The huffering is the suffering. Anyone dwells in this land knows the problems of it, the suffering from the inside out, the pain, the discord, the dislike, the self-inflictions. These are the self-inflictions that changes the mind, the thoughts, must be purged, must be cleansed, must be rid from the body. Through this fight and battle between one land and the next, this is the final land, the place of Mayat, the coming together of a great work, the resting place after the war. My people, it is written we must come out of her. This land, we look like her. He looks pregnant, but yet he is a virgin. But then he is pregnant. Up under this pregnancy is the child. This child is of a grown person a man-child. This is the face that is in the midst that we should be seeking. He has a face at the bottom that stands under him and he has his face that stands above. There's an overstanding and an understanding here. Here there's only an overstanding of the intakes. His understanding has fallen away from the hardened place or the garden. We seek overstanding and understanding of the electrical things of nature. The herbs or the order or the order herbs or the orders is the electrical intake. I will raise thee of a plant of renown that you shall not bear the shame of the heathen or the eaten. This is a shameful face or a shameful place. We must seek the battle of the fight within to resurrect the Naiga or the Naiga within. This is the Holy One, the Righteous One of the fruits of the Spirit, love, peace, joy, serenity, strength, power, longevity. My brethren and sisters, we look forward to seeing you in the holy place, in the new land. Your journey begins with a change of intake of mind, which transforms the body in return for your faithful services to the order. The order is the orders, the herbs, the fruits, the vegetables, the nuts, and the grain keeps thee in the land of the city, the one with light, the Israelite. Bless from Perd Nectar Kimmich.